Hi there, this is Matt Rose, you're with Wig With. Today is August 6th, Thursday, 2020. And so this video is about the UCP cancelling the EMS services for four local municipalities. So they did this without consulting the municipalities affected by this, which will cause some overlay, uh, probably delays in services, and also a lot of... Um, distraction from, you know, saving people's lives, which is what the AMS is there for. Um, consultation was scheduled for the end of July, and then they moved it to August 4th, and then they just went ahead and did this. So a lot of uh, the municipalities and people infected by this, of course, are uh, upset which uh, is pretty common standard for UCP to not consult public on anything. They just go ahead, they do it. Uh, the idea has been rejected multiple times before, so there's a good chance that possibly this gets overturned if enough people do say they don't want it. Um, local staff is going to be fired, so, you know, these are local jobs that, you know, people have been trained to do. They... They know the city, they know the maps, they know the local, like, spots that, you know, people are going to mention when they're talking to EMS, so that's kind of a concern. Uh, and then the Alberta AHS is going to hire 25 more staff to kind of handle with the extra workload. They're already dealing with about 60% of the province's uh, EHS calls, so that is quite a bit already, but, you know, if you're firing, you know, a substantial amount of local staff and then hiring it in one municipality over another. You don't really save money, it's just offsetting. And that's also another thing municipalities are upset about is they're kind of, um, they're uh, subsidizing the AHS that way by having to offset their own staff costs and give that to AHS now. And so the uh, regions affected by this is Calgary, Red Deer, Lethbridge, and Wood Buffalo. They're the only municipalities left that do run their own um, dispatch. And since the provincial uh, system was established in 2009, everybody else kind of under that system. So, you know, this is a big thing that, you know, you should probably be concerned about if uh, you are in one of these regions, just because... Uh, you might not get the local dispatch center that you thought you were going to get coming up or soon. Uh, you know, the, the Chandra uh, sagas continue, I guess. So we're going to see where this one goes. Uh, also going on today, we've got the uh, school reopening. So uh, Lagrange uh, there, Adriana Lagrange, she kind of gave an updated uh, response. So... Now every kid gets two masks, they are reusable masks that they could take home and, you know, kids can hang on to that for the rest of their days, so, um, you know, I guess crisis afforded it there, right? As long as those kids hang on to those two masks, we can have up to 45 kids in a classroom and that's perfectly A-OK -okay by this UCP government, so uh, if you have a kid in school, you might want to you know, consult with your local uh, education board and your teachers and any uh, principals that you can get a hold of, get in touch with them and ask them what their local plan is because, you know, I would be concerned if my kid was going into one of these schools. Um, you know, it's the UCP at large, right? No consultation and just... Once it's done, it's done, right? You know, like, nobody can go back and change this. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, this has been Wig With. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my videos if you'd like to see more like this. And have a great day. Thanks, guys. Bye.